Hello, I'm Stephanie Downs with the Ohio Division of Forestry. I am the Service Forestry Coordinator for Southern Ohio, and I'm currently in Hocking County, out in my woods, checking for invasive plants. The spring is a really good time to get out in your woods and start looking for invasive plants because they tend to green up faster than our native species do. You notice there's a whole lot of green here because we happen to have a lot of invasive plants in a small section of our woods. And this is the result of a tree coming down in the forest, creating an opening where sunlight was able to reach the forest floor. So we have, you can see it's a pretty big red oak, came down in our woods here, created this nice opening of bright sunlight, and encouraged all of our invasive plants to re-sprout and fill in this gap. We have quite a few species here, so I know a lot of you are probably familiar with the first one. This is Multiflora rose. It's an invasive plant from Asia. It is in the rose family, so it has nice thorns that make it very difficult to deal with. And this is pretty much throughout the state of Ohio. This is a very common invasive. A lot of people are familiar with it because it limits your recreation, kind of fills in along trails. The next invasive plant we have here is called winged burning bush. So this is an invasive shrub that was brought in from Asia for the horticulture industry. Nice, brilliant, bright red fall foliage. So it's beautiful in the landscape, but it can also be highly invasive in your woods. One of the ID characteristics here is the stem. If you notice, it's got these quirky wing-like structures on it. So that's where the name winged burning bush comes from. And the next one we have here is autumn olive. So this is an invasive from Eurasia. And both continents have this. This is common in reclaimed strip mine areas, but also throughout the rest of the state. So autumn olive is actually pretty easily identified by the undersides of the leaves. They'll have a very silvery sheen to them. But this is one that forms dense clumps of large shrubs and fills in your understory. And then the last invasive that we have in this little patch is actually a tree. So this last one here is called Ammer Cork Tree. It's another landscape species planted in yards occasionally. But unfortunately for us, our neighbor had a couple in their yard and our entire woods is seeding in with these seeds. So this is a, a tree. This is obviously a smaller one. But one of the ideal characteristics is that it has opposite leaves. And so you can see here there's two buds that have opened and the leaves are starting to come out. The other is that it will have horseshoe shaped leaf scars. And so it actually wraps around that bud and is shaped like an upside down horseshoe. So obviously we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of invasives that we need to get on in our woods and start controlling them so that our native species can flourish and survive. 